What's up? How is everyone? I hope good. I am here with a just a two pile reading. Um, it's going to be, you know, what's the truth in my situation or what do I need to know in my situation? Um, you can choose between pile one and pile two. And today we'll use, um, let's see here, for pile one, we'll use the owl stone. Whoop, it's upside down. Owl stone. In pile two, we will use this one. So, pile one, pile two. Hope if you can see it. So, okay, pile one, we'll get started with you. The energy of your reading is going to be the Empress. And the Empress is typically a nurturing type of woman. Um, uh, marriage, you might be, you know, married or you might be um, about to get married, I'd say. Um, and then also it represents a mother. So that could be you or it could be somebody in your situation. So she is going to be the, the energy of this reading. Your next card is the Nine of Wands. And this is when we take time to pull our reserves together, uh, financial, you know, pull our money together to, um, you know, make that final push in our situation. So I'm assuming that you are in this uh, predicament, or if you're not, then I suggest that you start pulling your reserves together because it's going to be really important in your situation. Your next one is the Hermit. The Hermit uh, represents Virgo, so there could be a Virgo in the mix. Um, you could be a Virgo. It, it is when we go within we um, to seek our inner wisdom to get the answers from within ourselves. So you might be in this phase or you might be going into this phase. So that's always good. I, I, I'm a hermit all the time. So Your next one is the chariot. The chariot represents cancer typically. It doesn't have to, just so you know. Um, the chariot is you have, you know, you had a triumph over your difficulties. Maybe you, you just finished up with a situation that you were going through and you uh, triumphed over it. It also um, indicates moving on, so you might be moving or moving towards a new relationship into a new home, you know, a different state. It just depends on your situation. The next card I pulled for you is going to be the Knave of Swords. And with the Knave of Swords, um, which is the Page of Swords, if you don't know that in typical or in tra traditional tarot, this um, typically says that maybe there's delays going on um, with with your situation. Uh, maybe disappointment. You might feel disappointed in something. Um, or it could be disappointing news. And this also sometimes represents a problem with a child. Maybe one of your children are kind of giving you grief or they're going through something that is really difficult, but if so far nothing is going on, you might want to keep an eye on your children, kind of looking to see what they're doing, if they're doing something bad. Your next one is illumination. And illumination is like self-discovery, spiritual growth. So you might be going through spiritual growth or transformation, or in an, sometimes it represent, represents divided, divided nation, if I could say it, I'm sorry which is, you know, tarot cards, or if you use a pendulum, or you use a spirit board, but that is what that's representing. So maybe you need to turn, maybe that's why you're here today, because you're turning to it to get your answers of your situation and what you should do. Next, I have Four of Wands, and Four of Wands speaks of stability. It could speak of holidays, so maybe it's over this weekend, the holiday weekend. And then it also represents marriage plans. So maybe one of you is um, planning on getting married or in the process of making the plans for all that. And if you are, congratulations. That's awesome. Maybe you're getting married this weekend. You never know. You have the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords says to me, it's uh, you triumphed over adversity. So that's another card that's um, pointing towards triumph. It says you're having some inner strength, which is always good, and mental clarity. So to me, it's you have triumphed over some situation that you're able to have that inner strength and in that you are um, able to have the mental clarity and, you, you know, be able to move on and look forward to your future and all the good things that are coming towards you. The Page of Pentacles. Uh, good news is coming regarding your finances. So you might have received a raise. Uh, you might be receiving the money that you inherited that you haven't received yet it could be you know a new job 
It could be a marriage. Maybe the person that you're marrying is really financial set. So that's always positive, and that's awesome. You have the Father of Cups. This father is typically supportive, um, diplomatic, intelligent, and emotional. So this could be your father. It could be just, you know, a, a man that's around you that, you know, has these traits. It could be the man that you're marrying. If you're, like I said, you're getting married, this could definitely be the man that you would be marrying. Um, and you also receive the father of wands. So there's another father. It, this father is creative. Um, care, um, what else? He has a flair for like dramatics, dramatic situations. Um, he's entertaining, keeps people on their toes, kind of the life of the party type. So again, this could be your father or the man that maybe you're marrying or his father or just a man that's around you. And then last but not least, you receive the strength card as the outcome card, which is, you know, gentleness with an inner strength and lots of courage. So this could have been what you have just gone through. This is what pulled you through and helped you triumph in your situation. So that's, that's awesome. That's a great, you know, outcome of this whole situation. To me, this was, you know, the truth of your situation is that you really, you know, you were able to move through a difficult time that you were able to triumph over the difficulties and you know you it might have been in a relationship and maybe now that relationship's going you know well enough that you're able to plan a wedding and get married which is just awesome so well that's what i had for you today pile one i hope that it resonated with you i hope that you enjoyed it if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so because i greatly appreciate it i'm sending so much love so many positive vibes and peace to each and every one of you Take care. Sorry, I'm going to write down the time so I can put that in the 54. Pile 2. Okay, Pile 2, you are up. Pile 2. So the um, energy of your reading today is going to be the Six of Swords. Um, this shows like har harmony after a strain, like a strainful situation that you've gone through. And it also represents maybe a, a long journey over water. Maybe you are taking a trip or you're moving or um, maybe you have a business, you know, a career like trip, a business trip is what I'm trying to say. Um, but maybe you'll be going on a vacation, which would be nice. But you have finally reached harmony in whatever you were going through. So that's an awesome way to start out this uh, reading. Your next one is Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is abandoning a path, uh, disillusions, and then it also to me represents like emotions not being met or fulfilled. So maybe in your relationship you're feeling this way, or maybe that's your partner is maybe feeling that way and hasn't addressed it with you, but definitely pay attention to that. You have the King of Swords, and the King of Swords represents air signs, which is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. This is typically a man, in, you know, in uniform. It could be a military man. It could be a police officer. Um, it also represents, like, an organization, um, like government, or maybe a cult. So, but this man is typically, you know, he's, he typically is one that he listens to all the facts before he makes a judgment or, you know, a decision on what what to decide but he's usually a fair man so so you could it you, your situation could be something that has to do with the law maybe some criminal activity or you know and this is who's going to be coming in so it'll be if it's not you or anyone around you maybe watch for that because there could be maybe a officer coming to see you regarding your situation your next one is the magician and to me the magician always represents um Aquarius and and I believe I think it's Aquarius and Aries or is it Gemini and Aries to me I always think Aquarius I'm just gonna leave it as Aquarius if I'm wrong comment below um you have this is telling you that you have all the abilities all the you know inner strength all the magic all the power to succeed in anything and everything that you want so you know you have the the power of the earth air fire water so, I mean, with all that, you have enough power to, to succeed and go, go and get what you want and to make it through any situation. So, 
you know, um, maybe pay attention to your magic powers, if you believe in them. I do. I mean, I'm a Wicca, so, well, I'm not really a Wicca, but I'm a witch, is what I would say, a white witch, but I, you know, I, my, my beliefs are different than most, so, so don't think I'm some person out there just putting spells on people, because I'm not. And I'm not saying that that's what Wicca is, is, so please don't take that either. I don't mean it that way either, if I mean, if it sounded that way. Well, anyways, um, so you do have all everything that you need to succeed in whatever you're trying to get through. You have the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is like happiness. You um, achieve something that was really important to you. And um, maybe a, in a wedding or maybe a family celebration. And if it is a wedding, you might want to go and watch Pile 1 because um, Pile 1 is a lot. There's a couple of things in there about marriages, so... Definitely check out Pile 1, because they might be related to your situation. We have the Page of Chalice. Um, this is happy news in an emotional-like nature. Uh, and then it also can represent a sensitive child. That's, you know, it could be your child or a child around you. So more happy news, which is always, you know, welcomed in the true situation type card, or reading, excuse me. You have the Knight of Chalice. And the Knight of Chalice is um, proposals. Here we go again. Romantic situations. Um, this also re represents a young man that could be around you. It could be your son. It could be, you know, your, your partner's son. It could be your brother, whomever. But this is typically like um, romantic situation. So that's awesome. Um, let me add here. We have the Knight of Swords. So, with the Knight of Swords, um, it's like a sense, maybe you're having some anxiety and despair. Maybe maybe you're having it just over, maybe you're proposing to someone, and that's definitely, we all get pretty nervous when doing something like that. So that could be causing it. Um, you might be also feeling like oppression. So, I mean, it's not something that you can't work through and deal with. I am assuming that it's whatever situation that you've been going through. It could be because the law is involved in your situation. Or, like I said, it could be just with marriages. Or maybe you broke up with somebody and maybe they're, somebody proposed to them and, and so on. So, the next one is the uh, King of Cups. And the King of Cups is typically, you know, a warm, thoughtful man in the, you know, a caring and creative, like, profession. And then it, he also, t to me... And it's cancer. He's a sign of cancer uh, or water signs, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then if you ever notice, the king of cups is always has a drink in his hand. So this might be somebody that likes to, you know, indulge a little bit, maybe a little bit too much. Who's to say? Um, so that might get, kind of give you an idea of who it might be. Your next card is going to be the five of cups. And this is um, typically feeling like feelings of disappointment. Um maybe let down or betrayed. And then it also represents regrets. So maybe somebody betrayed you in your situation. Maybe you're disappointed because of that. Uh, maybe you have regrets because you didn't propose to somebody or the regrets because you did something maybe illegal and you know that you've been caught or they're about to interview you regarding it or that's kind of what I'm feeling on that. So you have the three of pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is success through effort, gains, and recognition. So um, whatever you are having anxiety and despair about, just know that you are going to have success. You're going to gain, you know, financially or in whichever way that you, you know, in your situation, how you gain. Um, so maybe don't let the anxiety and despair kind of overtake you. Uh, and then your outcome card today is the Seven of Pentacles. And the seven of pentacles is like work and patience, and you're being rewarded for this. So that's, and then uh, also there'll be good news financially coming in. So just know that the outcome of your situation is going to definitely fall in your favor. It's going to be positive. It's going to be positive, you know, with recognition, you know, people are going to recognize what you, did, you have done and accomplished. But not only that, you will definitely uh, be rewarded with financial. So that's awesome. So, well, that's what I have for you, Pile 2. I really hope it resonated with you. 
I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you would. I am sending so much love, so many positive vibes and peace to each and every one of you. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.